Well, tonight in the podcast, ladies and gentlemen, while most people was paying attention to Trump and his guilty verdict and all his counts, Biden did something when people wasn't looking, look at the screen. The Biden administration offers mass amnesty to migrants as it quietly terminates 350,000 asylum cases, according to sources. Now let's really get into this so you can know exactly what Biden has done. And I just have to ask a question. Do you want to vote for more Biden? Because this is what he's doing. So over 350,000 migrants who have entered the U S illegally, not legally folks illegally have had the immigration court cases dismissed, allowing them to go free without a verdict on the merits of their entry. According to a bombshell report, it's a top immigration customs and enforcement. It said advisor Kerry Doyle circulated a memo in 2022, instructing prosecutors to dismiss cases for migrants. It said who are not found to be national security threats. According to one report, they say as a result that year, nearly 103,000 migrants had their cases dismissed, allowing them to walk free into the U S without an immigration court judge's verdict on the merits of their asylum claim. Later in 2023, that number dismissed cases skyrocketed to 149,000. So far in fiscal year, 2024, 114,000 cases as they have been terminated without a verdict, according to a report. And under Biden's leadership, a whopping 77% of migrants and say who claim asylum and say have been allowed to stay in the U S according to a transactional records access clearinghouse. That's a nonprofit that scours immigration court filings. They say, in fact, under Biden's tenure, the most popular way for migrants to be allowed to remain in the country under formal asylum proceedings is not being granted relief by a judge, but rather having the judge dismiss the case entirely following the guidance of Doyle's 2022 memo. They said, they said this is just a, a massive amnesty under the guise of prosecutorial discretion. They said a former immigration judge now working for the Center for Immigration Studies, or Andrew Arthur. He said, you're basically allowing people who don't have a right to be in the United States to be here indefinitely. ICE officers who spoke uh, to the media indicated that though these migrants cases are dismissed after being found without criminal records, they still commit crimes after being released into the U S interior. And so this forces these officers to then start removal proceedings anew. It says sometimes taking years and sure the cost of taxpayer provided resources and say, if the migrants who ice no longer controls or monitors commit crimes after the dismissal, ice will have to start all over and issue a new notice to appear in court and start the clock all over again. According to one ice official, they said, please let everyone know what's really going on. That's what the ICE officer said. Is that currently the backlog of asylum cases in the U.S. is around 3.5 million. And say so they highlighted how annually removing over 100,000 cases from the system without rendering verdict helps with optics for Biden. And say so after the cases are closed, the migrants are cleared from their removal proceedings, which is automatic classification for all migrants admitted. To, at the border. I say once their removal proceedings are closed, these migrants are no longer subject to deportation, meaning they can stay within the U S and say these migrants are also excused from ice oversight and will no longer be monitored. Unlike those who are still undergoing asylum proceedings in court as they still after the cases are dismissed migrants and say can reapply for asylum while in the U S trying to get granted asylum is helpful for migrants because it enables them to get work permits and a U.S. provided benefits. So every year Biden has been just letting them in constantly, constantly letting them in through the means when not even going through the process. So let me ask you a question, ladies and gentlemen, you mean to tell me that's what you're going to vote for? You want to go vote for him to keep doing this and guess where the migrants are coming to your neighborhood. Guess what resources they're getting your resources. So you mean to tell me that Biden, He's a lot better for, for the country, right? Than Trump. He is. I'm just trying to fit. I'm just trying to say, figure that one out. So, okay. You don't like Trump. Fine. Fine. So you, you want a bunch of people that's just taking your resources, but you know, some, some people what I realize are so invested. They don't care about 
their resources being taken away. They don't care if they dumped in their communities. They don't care because they are so hardcore Democrat. Biden can do no wrong, but to the people who actually got common sense throughout this country, you go vote for Biden in November. You better believe he's going to continue that. And then some now, listen, you put him back in there and, and now he know that's his last term. Oh, he really going to mash the gas then. Cause he ain't worried about getting voted back in. He don't care what y'all say at that point. You better believe that he won't care what you complain about or whatever. He going to dump all the migrants on you. He can and give them all the resources that he want to give them because he's not worried about getting voted back in. He's not worried. So go ahead, put him back in. I told y'all remember this. I told y'all months ago, if y'all go put Biden back in there, I'm not going to, I'm not going to say nothing bad about Biden after that. I promise you. I won't. Every time Biden do something, I'm going to lay it at your feet. You voted for it. You must wanted that. You wanted them to, have, to be in your neighborhood. You want them to take your schools. You wanted that because you voted for them. So I was what you wanted. That's what I'm gonna keep saying to you the whole time. Biden doesn't do this. That's what you voted for. Trust me. That will be my message. That's what you voted for. And you get what you deserve. The whole time. I won't say nothing bad about Biden. Mm -mm. Nothing. I won't say nothing bad even by the Democrats at that point. Some of you will get your wish, but oh, I'm going to lay it in your, I'm going to lay it in your lap. Oh, I'm going to lay it in your lap the whole time. The whole four years that man is in everything that happened bad in this country. I'm blaming y'all. I'm not blaming Biden. If y'all put him back in there, I'm blaming you because you wanted that. That that's that's the deal. But it's just y'all can just explain to me, you know how how do migrants benefit the black community? Let's ask that question too. How do migrants benefit Black America? How do they make our lives better? Well, our tax dollars is going to migrants. How how is that? When when we're the group of people that's fighting for reparations in the form of cash payments. Do you think we're going to get closer to reparations? All of all the migrants that Biden keeps stacking in this country. I mean, do you really think that I'm, I'm just saying ice officers are saying, Hey man, look, this dude doing the stuff and like our hands are tied. You know, I told black Americans you need when Trump get in there, you need to go get some of them good ice jobs. Trump will hire you. If he get back in there, there'll be some good government job for you. If he gonna have the biggest mass deportation, he say in American history, why not black Americans get those jobs and be a part of it? Why not? Every country throughout the earth, you got to come in there legally or they getting your behind right on out. They catch you. They getting you out. And it's not fair to the citizens of a country that people could just come in their country illegally and taking resources. That's not fair. You come in the right way. You do the, do, do things the, the honorable way. And that's it. You can't just jump the line. That's not right to people that actually is in line because Biden is, is basically cheating. He's cheating people who's doing it the right way. But explain to me two things. We're going to wrap this up. How do, how do migrants benefit black America? Number one. And if you're going to go vote for Biden, is this what you're going to vote for? Just two questions. 